Sparking Zero is going to have one of the largest rosters in Dragon Ball game history. With over 160 playable characters, it's been confirmed that there will be one secret pre-order bonus character that has never been in the Sparking series. Who could this be? Let's discuss that in this video. Yeah! Alright, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and I am back in again with some more Dragon Ball Sparking Zero news and speculation here on the channel. Let's finally talk about the secret playable character pre-order bonus that was revealed back whenever we first got our, you know, official reveal of everything release date, character pre-orders, you know, additions, all that great stuff. Um, I've been wanting to talk about this for a while because a lot of people have been requesting it and now I'm finally getting to it and uh, I'm really excited to talk about this because the possibilities for who this character could be are actually endless. Like, I, there's so many options out there, okay? I want to go over um, a couple of things in terms of information related to this, whether or not it's true. Um, I can't tell you 100%. Obviously, we'll go over it in the video. Then I want to go over, you know, some of the opinions from the community, as well as my personal picks of who I think it might be. Um, and again, it's all speculation based at the end of the day. But let's talk about this, okay? So, uh, as you guys are aware, the uh, early pre-order bonus type of thing uh, has an early unlock of six characters. I've been seeing some people kind of misinterpret this. Um, not everyone, but there are some people. And I think in my first initial video, whenever I was explaining all this, uh, I might have just have done a shitty job of explaining it, to be honest. I wouldn't, you know, uh, put it past me. But uh, the six characters early unlock for Gogeta and Broly and all their forms doesn't mean that you can't get these characters without the pre-order bonus or for, you know, in a sense, DLC slash purchasing, right? Um, you know, these characters you can normally unlock in the game. This is just an early unlock. So at the base, when you, you know, install all this and you start your game up for the first time, okay, you haven't even touched story or anything yet, these characters will be in your roster, okay? This isn't anything new to Dragon Ball games. Um, I believe uh, Xenoverse 2 did this with Future Trunks. You could get the early pre-order bonus unlock if you did pre-order. Or you could just unlock him normally in the game. Same thing with Dragon Ball Fighters, you could unlock early uh, SSB, Goku, and Vegeta. Okay, so these games have that, you know, as an option for pre-order, just because you know, some people just like to have these characters at the base. They want to just try it out. Okay, like they, some people don't even start the story mode. They just go into the game, they go into the version, they're like, all right, let's just play these characters real quick, <laughs> just to get the good feel of the game. So you know, it's nice that they give that as an option, but you can still unlock them in the game. Now, when it comes to the secret playable character, okay, what it states here on every website is that it's an exclusive new playable character. Now, you can interpret that a couple of different ways, okay? Either it being exclusive, never before seen in, you know, Dragon Ball, like this is an exclusive new character that is being created specifically just for Sparking Zero, or it could mean that this is a character that exists but hasn't been in the Sparking series ever, okay? And that's where our next topic comes in. Shoutouts to, I believe it's Ray Tachi on the Sparking Zero Reddit. Now, this is a while back. Um, I do recall this information being kind of, it kind of floated around a little bit on Twitter. I couldn't find the original information or even uh, the alleged interview where this took place. But um, from what they heard, I guess, from Nano, who did play the game, um, Jun Futatani has apparently stated on uh, in an interview that the pre-order character is someone who has never been playable before. Uh, I have yet to find where the interview is myself and thus i can't confirm if this character is someone who has never been playable before in a dv game period which would narrow down the search drastically as only manga characters could apply or is this uh, a character that is someone uh, new to the sparking game series specifically what are your guesses etc cetera, etc cetera, okay so yeah that's um that's very interesting information uh i would take what it said with a grain of salt with that one just because it's like Again, I couldn't find the original interview. I don't remember if Jun Futani actually, you know, this is something that came straight from his mouth, but I don't know. Okay, we're not gonna uh, get too crazy with it, but we'll, we'll speculate a little bit of uh, some options. Now, the interesting thing is, um, if it's not playable in the Sparking series so far, and this is the first game that's going to get it, um, that that's, you know, that's a good amount of characters. That could be characters anywhere from like Android 21, maybe Shallot, um, I would not say manga characters. Um, I think that is reaching a little bit too far. We'll do a different video talking about manga stuff because I got a lot of stuff to talk about in regards to manga related characters and content post Dragon Ball Super in the manga. I'm talking Mora arc, Granola arc, you know, whatever else that was in it, right? So 
who do I think this could potentially be? Okay. Um, I think that Super Saiyan Bardock might actually have a pretty good chance. If he's not uh, something that's like in the game normally, I would expect him to be just because he's he's usually in a lot of modern games, but he falls into a weird category where he's like a TV special, special episode thing. You know what I mean? Which I mean, the father of Bardock is already like that. We already have Bardock, regular Bardock confirmed in the game, right? But um, with a lot of these games, other than Xenoverse, which had him kind of at the base, um, this is actually from Battle of Z as an example, which I believe Battle of Z had this character as a DLC character, okay? Uh, I believe this was a pre-order bonus, if I'm not mistaken, where you could do an early unlock, because I know for a fact I wasn't paying for those characters, <laughs> unless you did, and I did actually pay for it, and I just don't remember, I just wanted the character. But I remember him and Vegito, Super Saiyan Vegito, were like early unlock characters, or like they were like these pre-order bonuses that they had for that, okay? Which was very interesting, because um, I think this might have been the first like home console game where we had Super Saiyan Bardock playable. You can correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, he's always been in like Heroes and stuff, but that's an arcade game and, and everything. Uh, like I said, he was in Xenoverse 2. Okay, he got his Super Saiyan 1, 2, and 3 transformations, which is really cool. So that's another game that had it. Um, in Dragon Ball Fighters, he doesn't have it as like a install, but it's part of his like ultimate attack or whatever. He's like one of his special moves. So he does go Super Saiyan in that. He has dramatic finishes where he goes Super Saiyan. So Super Saiyan Bardock's always been kind of in a weird place. Um, when it comes to the console games uh in the mobile games like dokkan legend easy money those are getting them like all day every day there's like a million different versions of super saiyan bardock right but um i think he has a pretty good chance of actually being that pre bonus because he was never playable in the sparking series okay not even in raging blast if i'm uh recalling correctly i believe um they only got you know like super saiyan 3 uh vegeta and broly and stuff okay Another great choice I think would be fantastic for it is Android 21. She's in every game, like literally every game. I can't recall a Dragon Ball game. I mean, at least ever since she's been revealed in her debut in Fighters, I can't recall any of them not having her, okay? Even Kakarot has her. She's not playable or anything, okay? She's kind of more of an NPC and they don't even call her Android 21, but she's damn... God damn, she's in the game, right? <laughs> At least this version of her lab coat version. So uh, that, you know, she's playable in Xenoverse 2, her lab coat version. Obviously, Fighters has, like, all her versions and everything because she was originally from Fighters. She's in Legends. She's in Dokkan, okay? Um, she's uh, Breakers, the only game that, I guess, doesn't have her yet, but we know she's she's going to be in it, okay? Xenoverse and Breakers share assets. So I think she has another, like, she's a very high chance of being that pre-order bonus character. Another one, which is a little bit more far-fetched, but I would love this because Shalit's just such a cool character. Uh, he's an exclusive character to Legends. He's in Heroes, okay? Um, I don't think he's in Dokkan yet. I could be wrong. Maybe they did do it in Dokkan. Dokkan has so many characters, and I just don't remember. Um, but he's definitely in Heroes and Legends. Still not in Xenoverse yet. And I think that's it. I can't recall him being in any other game. So that's why he's in, he's a, he's in a little bit of a weird spot. But... Um, you know, sparking is sparking. So, you know, they if they're really going for exclusive character that has never been playable in the sparking series, could definitely be him, right? Uh, but I wouldn't I wouldn't really get your hopes up for them. I feel like Android 21 and like Super Saiyan Bardock, for example, have a way better chance, okay? And then it comes to Super Saiyan 3, Vegeta, and Broly. I think these are actually really good options as well. Um, only because even though they say not in the Sparking series, there's like debate whether or not Raging Blast has been part of the Sparking series. I think there was an interview that said that um, one of the devs or producers uh, was saying that this is the sequel to the Sparking series in a sense, and they like confirmed that. So I don't know if they would count, but I'm just saying like if, we, if we're not going based off the interview and they're just talking about an exclusive playable character, this is pretty exclusive, right? <laughs> you don't get you don't get Super Saiyan 3 uh, Vegeta and Broly in many games other than Raging Blast, right? That was the only game I think that had him, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, these would be great choices. They're cool forms and everything, and, you know, they have cool new stuff. So, I think it would be a great option to include them. And it would make the roster feel a lot more complete because it's like, oh, we're getting the characters from also the Raging Blast series, you know? Because Sparking Zero is... Is a, is, is a little bit, or not a little bit, but a lot of it is coming from Raging Blast and a lot, you know, it's a it's a good balance and fusion of the 10 KHG series and Raging Blast, okay? So I think all of these would be incredible options. I'm sure there are tons of more characters. Again, 
I'm not bringing up any manga shit just because it's like it's unlikely. And like I said, we'll talk about that in a different video and all the crazy shit that came out about it, you know, um, I think like a month ago or whatever. So shout out to DB Sparking News because they posted this. Um, who do you think the playable pre-order bonus character is? Reminder that it's someone that has never been playable in the Budokai Tenkaichi game. Okay, so yeah, they did say this um, again. Take what I said about that with a grain of salt, but let's just see some of the options. Okay. Um, Aka, uh, this guy, Avocado, whatever, uh, Avocado, wh whatever this dude's name was from the Yo Son Goku and his bitches return and all that. Um, I mean, maybe. Uh, another option that I didn't even bring up, um, Tarble. He was playable in the Raging Blast series. Okay. That's another character that was very um, cool that they added him in Raging Blast 2, if I recall correctly. So that's another one that I think would be kind of cool, but I mean, I would just be like, I don't know how many people would be too excited about that, but eh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, shout out to my boy, Calvert. Yes. Yes, Shallot. The people want Shallot, okay? Could literally be anyone in DBS. That is absolutely true. Okay. Um, there are a lot of Dragon Ball Super characters that are, you know, that, that exist that are probably not going to make it in this game, you know, just depending on, you know, who they're adding in the roster. So, yeah, there could be a chance that they add, like, I don't know. I'm, tr I'm trying to think. What, what is that girl's name? Uh, that Kawe, Kyawe. Okay, there's the other, there's the other there's the bunny chick and the and the cat chick or whatever. There was like 15 different cat chicks. <laughs> there was like there was like 77. There's like a million animal characters that were uh, part of the tournament power. Maybe it's a god of destruction. What if we get Belmod playable? That'd be cool. That'd be weird, but it'd be cool. Um, yeah, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Again, if we're going off of the uh, never playable before in the Sparking series. That's not going to be the case. Would be nice, though, if he's not in the base game. But again, well, Super Saiyan 4, GT movies, all that stuff. I don't know about that. There, there's a chance that they could do that, but it would just be kind of weird and random. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Beelzebub. That would be cool. I know some people wouldn't be too fond about that just because, uh, you know, Sandland has just been like, <laughs> like they've been going crazy. They, they finally slowed down with the Sandland stuff, okay, which, I mean, I was all for it. Sandland's cool. Um, but yeah, that would be a cool option. Um, launch, I'd be down. Would again, it would be kind of just random, but hey, I'm I'm down for it. More OG Dragon Ball characters. Um, this is a good option. Either a Dima character or an original character for Sparking Zero itself. Again, great options. I love that. Okay, some type of early Dima unlock. Okay, which I mean falls in line with a character that has never been playable in the Sparking series, right? Um, I can't couldn't tell you who it would be. Maybe it is Daima Goku. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, original character. If it was an original character, like, let me just get crazy with y'all. All right. Just, just humor me with this, this crazy, dumb ass option, man. What if it was Gokhan? <laughs> what if they created Goku and Gohan's fusion for the first time ever? That would be truly an exclusive first time ever character in any Dragon Ball game and anything related to Dragon Ball. We have never gotten a Gokhan fusion before. We've had Kuhan in Dragon Ball fusions. That's like Kid Goku and Teen Gohan or Youth Gohan or whatever. That one was kind of ass. Let's just be real. I wasn't really all that excited about that one. But Goku and Gohan never really get actual fusions for whatever reason. They don't want to do it in uh, Heroes. But they did Trunks and Vegeta. You know what I mean? So that would be a fantastic option if they did that. But yeah, I'm getting crazy. Don't expect that at all. But hey. Just the possibility of it would make me nut. Uh, Tori bot, great option. Yeah, this is the 40th anniversary. That voice crack, though. This is the 40th anniversary of the game, as well as, you know, a tribute to Toriyama's passing, which actually occurred, okay? You know, earlier this year, I believe in March. Um, you know, still very sad info you know, news and information about that. And uh, my condolences and everything. But, man, fantastic option. I would love Tori bot. Tori Bot should be in all the games, right? <laughs> they should add him in all the games. You know, this is this is his legacy. This is his, you know, these are his creations in a sense. Um, you know, that, that would be nice, right? Um, yeah, Beelzebub. Thought it would be Anilaza. I'm going to guess either Cell Max. It could be Cell Max, but it's like, I feel like they would just put that in the Dragon Ball Superhero DLC, right? Uh, Shallot or Android 21. Yes, dude. Um, I've seen a lot of Whenever this first this information first came out, Beast Gohan. Early, like an early unlock, okay? Hasn't been playable in the Sparking series. Haven't been early unlocked just because he's so fucking hype, right? Maybe, but again, could 
they could just save it for the superhero pack, okay? Mira, Android 21, Banyu. Yeah, um, because it's only one character, I don't think it would be Mira just because Mira and Tawa are together. They're a pair. What if it's Few? Oh, that'd be so cool if it was Few. I would love that, dude. Oh, they're not going to do that, but it would be so cool. Paragus. Imagine if it was Paragus. Everybody loves Paragus. Um, Chi Chi, Bulma, Toribot. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'd be down for that. Yes, Toribot, I feel like would be a really, really good option, okay? I think out of anyone, this would be probably the best option. I'm not sure how he would really play exactly, and it, but it would just be cool to get... Because this is a character that is not in any other Dragon Ball game to play as. If I recall correctly, I don't recall him ever being in any Dragon Ball game. Maybe he's like an NPC or something, but have him playable? Because this is a playable character? Would be nice, okay? Oh, God. <laughs> I pool. <laughs> um... Yeah, I think most... For, uh, Tianja! Yes, let's go. Monaka. Oh, Lord. If they did Monaka, it'd be over for us, bro. Yeah, for the most part, I think we kind of covered all the, the, the main popular choices. But y'all let me know, okay? As always, make these videos because I love doing the community speculation with y'all and uh, reading your comments. So comment down below, who do you think this secret motherfucker could be? Literally could be anyone, honestly. It could be Goku's left nut sack, bro. <laughs> That's enough. All right, I'm done. Thanks for watching. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe here on the channel, ring my notification bell. If you guys have any other cool topics or things you wanted to talk about in regards to Sparking Zero, I am down to all day, every day, 24-7. We on the Sparking Zero hype train. We got two months left. Y'all have a great day. Peace out. <laughs> this is Broly, and you are watching Slow Plays. Make sure to subscribe, or else I'll destroy your entire planet! <laughs>